Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is the second video. In the first video, we talked about the basic fundamentals of Nex with the Express and we did simple Hello World app with the to-do table. Now let's give a proper structure to this uh, code. And for that, uh, we can create another table, uh, which is to-dos. So what we can do is we can, we will be using these scripts to create the migrations uh, or uh, which we can do is npm run make and the table name is to do's it should create uh, another table for me and the table name is to do's this time okay we can just now this table is going to have a couple of more columns let's say the title the order and completed and this is my migrations and this is my table so i can simply just put the definition of the table, what it is going to have. To do is the table. So all the migrations look like same if you want to create a, a user migration. And then you copy this and then paste the content in the, the user migration, which is just recently created. And what you need, this is the ID incremented, this is the name, this is the email. Email is of type string only. Or type text this is the boolean we don't need a boolean we can say this is also a string of type address and the column name is address and default to initial I mean the empty quotes this is a user table right so this is how you can add the migrations I mean you can add the other things like uh, this is a user table and let's say we have uh, this is you can say to do ID to do's ID so here we can create a reference table dot string dot reference we have to look into the dot document like how we can create a reference it's not showing the TypeScript definitions here otherwise you would have done that this is a simple .js file. So we'll add these relationships later, like one to one, one to many, many to many. Relationships between the, the two different tables or two different association. So we created this table and now we can just run a simple migration and pm run migrate. Uh, this is the new table. So it should be able to create this table and pm run migrate. So it will check, okay, there is already a table existing. It did run two new migrations. Okay, now we can write some APIs. And this time we are not going to do something like this. We can create a proper routes and define the queries inside that. Okay, so this is our simple server.js, index.js. I mean, it, it is still a very basic app. I'm not going something extraordinary here app dot get this is like get all to do's so we can have one routes where we are going to define all the routes a simple basic express app routes equal to we can create all the route definition in a separate file server routes And then here we can say is route dot get all to do's and similarly you can add all your routes whatever you wanted to add so here this is a get by id so we can say is get to do this should be a post which will say okay create to do or post to do Similarly, you can create other methods. I am skipping for them now. What is this? So, yeah, get and post. So, it is post to do. Okay, we have to define all these things inside our router file, server routes. So this is our server routes we need to create. 
we have to move all the imports to the top of the page so reordering the, all the imports server routes is a new file i mean this is very basic code i'm writing server routes.js file okay there is a problem with the keyboard looks like okay inside this i can just create my all functions okay like uh, create to do update to do delete to do all the functions okay and here we can also isolate the DAO layer means the the queries which we are making to the database so here what i want to do is here i'm creating the one file which is you can say DAO layer that is a folder not a file it access object and here i can say to do's dot js file and here we are going to define all the to do operations okay first of all get the next object from the connections it require this from the connection dot js okay i came outside then outside there should be a file next file here i have a db dot js file okay this give me the next object and here i can just define all the functions async function all async function all that is going to give me all the data from the that particular table so it is to do you can just do a wait also async function all what is the problem it's declared but now no, not used we will use them later async function get and we are passing i don't know why this get is getting deleted id and here we can do is const results and we can do a sync await stuff next this is your table name to do's and we can do the where close so we'll talk about the queries in the next video like what all different things you can write dot where dot insert dot update dot remove because indirectly it is building a query for us and then this is going to return a many results we need only single result so we can just say get by id now similarly we have a create passing next and then insert we are going to do insert insert the data whatever the data we are passing we can just insert that and once the insert is done we can call dot I mean, you you can choose what you want to return and i'm saying is whatever is has been created return me all that so if you are getting the data that means the the insert has been done and it is going to give us the array or uh, array of returned records so we can just do is return result zero that means it is going to give us the object of the created user okay returning this is important part insert the data and return all the all the columns from the table and then simply i mean you can add all the update delete uh, uh, delete also we can add which is simple i think okay async dot delete that should be based on the id so what we are saying is let's say call it as a remove because delete is already javascript keyword to do dot where id is equal to this and then do the delete if there is an id then we can uh, just delete this and once the deletion is done we can also say is dot returning give me all the records again once the record is deleted it is again going to give us the array of deleted record we can just do area of zero okay I think I changed at the right place and then we can export all these function module dot exports we have all the methods all get create and delete I guess sorry remove create remove all and get now we can require these methods inside our route file server routes and then we can define 
what we are going to do okay so here we can say is const to do's equal to require this we are requiring from data layer so inside data we have DAO inside that we have to do's so we just need to call these methods which are defined here and here we can call create to do function which we have defined inside a router handler okay so here we have defined all our methods in server routes which is like uh, get all to do's get to do and post to do a simple ones which is like a basic CRUD operation and all the results we are returning and we are calling them from the index route handlers get all to do's get to do and post to do and we are calling this and we created a DAO layer which is like actually dealing with the next layer which is a database layer like next to do's get the access to the table and then do dot where dot insert so you can you can write uh, all different operations create update delete patch and all okay and now we can simply test this thing from the index.js we have a DAO layer which is database and then our server routes which is doing our get all to do's await to do dot all response.json await to do dot get pass the id and here we are passing the payload we wanted to create and then whatever we are creating we are returning same in the response okay so we can simply to the post which is like coding one order four this has been created and this is the get call right so this is how the simple basic operation is working you can create the, these migrations and number of tables we will see how we can define the relationships now in the next video we are going to convert this into express mvc style code where we can have a controllers where we can have the the routes definitions separately and then the database layer where we are using the next database instance to query insert update delete find where all these different operations onto that particular table okay these are like very basic video first video and second video third video we will take one more step and we will talk about little more advanced stuff and then we are going to write a one proper application with the help of node.js express and next and then we can also see how we can do the same integration with the next uh, same integration of next with the nest js nest js is a framework right which is a typescript uh, inspired and then we can also use the next there uh, with the Postgres. Let's see that in the next video. Thanks everyone.